plundering the richest territory in the world. Spain, with the help of God, has brought Christianity to the new world. By slaughtering the Incas and converting the survivors by force. The Viceroy sees to their welfare. The Viceroy has enslaved them. He provides work for those that want it. Yes, in Spanish gold mines. Like criminals in chains. You're forgetting, Carava. Almighty God must have granted compensation to that poor land. By giving it precious minerals. It is not the Almighty's will that is you here, but uh, but our complacency. The churches. Laudati Deum Omnis Populi. You must understand, Garafa. With our signature, we can assign someone a part of those riches. And these privileges gain the church valuable friendships. I will grant this privilege, but bar that name. He is a fraud. He is devoted to the church. And the nominee of the Mother Superior of Santa Cangelo. Remember that by tradition, the superior of that convent is the person who designates the candidate. We grant this privilege to. The present superior of the nuns of Santa Cangelo. They say is mortally ill. Ah? Huh? Let's see what happens. I'll wait. I should let the next superior offer me this name. Profundis clamavi ad te Domine. Domine exaudi vocem miam. Until the new mother superior is duly appointed, I am in charge here, as I am the oldest. Domine, Domine exaudi vocem miam. You, Mother Julia, go and toll the bell. And you, Mother Chiara, see that the church is in mourning. I must go and summon all the postulants here. Our rule prescribes that they alone drag the body to the church. I know you will be our next mother superior.
Ecce crucem domini, fugite patris ad verse, mundi spiritus omnis satanica potestas, omnis incursio in fanales ad versari. Mother Lavinia, will you allow Agnes to help me? You may go, Agnes. with you, Mother Julia. Agnes, you will be a novice soon. I promise I will always protect you and spare you the heavier tasks. Even when my niece joins our order. When will she arrive here? Very soon. What's her name? Isabella. Don't worry. You will always be my favorite. Sorry, the Mother Superior is dead. Well, I'm glad the poor woman is no longer suffering. Once the soul has gone, the body has little value. Of course, our souls have not departed yet. But the bell is pealing joyfully. <laughs> it's only the wind. I'll submit this document to his eminence. It's a notarized deed and quite in order. As I should expect. Forgive me, Your Excellency. I trust I have stressed the urgency. The interested party is very, very anxious. To have the rank of Mother Superior, I imagine. I should think that the, the vocation of Mother Carmilla is beyond any doubt. His eminence will judge that. Mother Carmela's family asked me to tell you, Your Excellency, that they will express their gratitude personally. Naturally, I shall tell them how helpful you have been. You can tell them I am different from the others. Yes, but it is their custom 
I'm of Neapolitan blood. And I'm not a party to Spanish etiquette. Santa Arcangelo. Another one has gone. One from a supplicant. The family of Mother Lavinia again have reinforced her claim, quadrupling her dowry. Mother Lavinia's main advantage in our eyes is she's the eldest. She was suspect in morals and faith when she was young. A suspicion that was found untrue. The needs of the church are expensive. Met by accepting rich families' daughters with no vocation for it. They pay us to make convents a refuge from parentally arranged marriages they oppose. A means to untie their estates from their heirs. Or provide for their friends through their newfound power. We cannot change the social structure, nor can we discriminate. Since every donation is like the widow's one might in value and acceptable in the eyes of God. Mother Julia. Mother Superior, Mother Julia's niece has arrived. Isabella. Aunt Julia. You must call me Mother Julia here. Welcome to the convent of St. Archangelo. Come. How nice to see you, Mother Julia. Isabella has been giving us lots of trouble. I find that she thinks she's in love. What's happened to the boy? Don't worry, he's been sent far away. Any important news? Don Carlos de Ribera will go in person to the Archbishop to announce the bequest. He also told me he will come to see you soon. Good. I'm keeping an eye on the situation. Sister Carmela and Mother Lavinia have both made their moves. You have strong opposition to overcome. Their families are quite influential. I know. <laughs> Isabella? Mother Julia? It's not right to ask me to inspect my niece, Mother Lavinia. Mother Conmela. Sit here. Don't worry, Agnes. No! 
Hey, Pop. Forgiveness. 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 I humbly address myself to you, to your charity. I have asked to have my vows revoked. Yes, she has made a formal application. I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting. We've tried to make her recognize the sad impression her request for release would make. And what has brought about your abrupt entreaty to leave the order? My health. I suffer dreadfully. Yes, dreadfully. What ailment do you have, hmm? In appearance, you are very well. A case of nerves. And largely imagined. You are Sister Chiara, are you not? Yes. The Holy See has placed your petition in my hands. Consequently, the Congregation of Religious Orders has asked my opinion. And I am forced to deny you. Poor Sister Chiara needs some distraction. Um, let her devote some time to embroidery. It shall be done, Your Eminence. It shall be done.
Principe Annulum Sponsi. Accipe Annulum Sponsi. Accipe Mother Lavinia says she will not let you out of here until you've finished all the embroidery. Here, it's almost done. I haven't slept for over three nights doing it. Please, for my sake, finish it. They must not know at the Archbishop's Palace that I am ill. Then you don't want the doctor? Our order only allows a doctor in very serious cases, and only with the bishop's written permission. A good thing that I have you, Mother Julia. I've brought you some medicine. I think it will help you. I've plenty of it. I've had the same symptoms as you, Mother Lavinia. I'm grateful for your forgiveness, Mother Lavinia. Pay your respects to Mother Julia. I think she'd appreciate it. I'm glad you finished the embroidery. Do you like them? Yes, they are for you. Thank you. I'll take them to the altar. I well know the healing power of your hands. Don't hurt yourself. But now your care it's all for Mother Lavinia. What do you mean? At times you frighten me. You don't talk to me or see me any more alone. We only see each other in crowds now. You hardly notice me. I'll take them to the altar. not something forbidden. It was the gatekeeper nun who gave it to me. She said, I'm above suspicion. You should be proud. Why? It's a mortal sin. Oh, good news. Wonderful news. He's no longer far away. Who is he? Fernando. I hope to see him soon. How? There is a way. He suggested it. Do you love him? 
More than anything. And Mother Julia, your aunt, does she know about this? That one knows everything. Maybe she even had a hand in separating me from him. It seems strange to talk about love with you. Why? Love is the most wonderful feeling that exists. What you mean by love is something else. Yes, but perhaps because of this I can understand you better. Will you keep it a secret? Yes. Isabella. Oh, oh, Fernando. So much time has passed. It seemed endless. Five months and twelve days. Oh. Do you remember the last time we saw each other? Millions of times I've relived that meeting. I've also dreamt it. But then something always separated us suddenly. You disappeared, and I couldn't see you anymore. I was never able to dream of you. Who knows why? Perhaps it's because in the daytime I imagine you're always by my side talking to me. I tell you all the time that I love you. I say it too, all the time, that I love you. <laughs> Let's move. We might be able to get closer. Speak. I beg you. Let's fill every second of our meeting. How was your voyage? Tiresome. Did your parents send you far away, dear? Oh, yes. It was awful, not knowing where you were. I didn't know where you were either. Even so, you finally found out where I was. Yes. And how did you manage to leave? I wrote to my parents and told them I wanted to meet her. Who? That girl they want me to marry. And have you met her? No. I was to meet her the day before the wedding. She must be very ugly. <laughs> Over there. Oh, Fernando, I'm glad you waited for me. You have taken a vow. I'm a novice. I can still be released from it. I've written to some friends of my family. Nobody has answered. Love will take care of us. Love has wings. Yes, my love. And life has no meaning if I can't have you. Don't steal my thoughts, Isabella. We're the same. By what? By God Almighty. But you, your vows, you've taken another oath. I continue to pray to God, because God is love. You must go now. Goodbye, my love. No, not goodbye. Till we meet again. Mother Lavinia is ill. She's sorry she can't greet you personally. Is dear Lavinia's health becoming any worse? Her condition is certainly not improving. Well, I don't think we should dispatch her to heaven before her time. According to the Vatican, an invalid may not be appointed mother's superior. You're free to move. Thank you. I must also thank you for the gifts. Especially the medicine, the elixir. 
It was very kind of you, Don Carlos. And Isabella, how is she? My niece is very well. Have you checked her? Of course. Everything all right? She is exactly as she was born. Hmm. We uh, saved her from that young scoundrel just in time. Don Carlos. Reverend Mother. Are the documents all in order? Hmm. They are. When it's a question of increasing their land holdings, the church never says no. Your appointment is all but assured. I could say, as sure as Isabella's virginity. Once you become Mother Superior, there will be nothing to prevent you from sending her to me. I will move into my villa at Bayano and wait for her there. It's not far from here. I hope I won't have to wait long. You never mentioned this before, Don Carlos. Oh, didn't I? Well, I mention it now, Mother Julia. I thought you were only interested in the rights to the mines abroad. It hasn't been so easy to clear the way for your becoming Mother Superior. There have been applications from other convents, too. I haven't told you before, but I have spent much more than we anticipated. You cannot draw back now. It would mean ruin for your family. That's true, Don Carlos. Sister Carmela also has a friend in a high position. What do you know about this Carmela? Enough to eliminate her. A scandal. Don't go alone. Sound the alarm. Yes, of course, Mother Lavinia. Wake up! Wake up, wake up! What oh, is it? Mother, it's terrible. I think oh. there's a man in the convent. I have the authorization of Mother Lavinia. It's an abuse. <laughs> yes, it's true. I wanted to escape.
little more of that medicine of yours. I'm afraid it's all finished. And since we don't know the nature of your illness, I think it's better that you don't take any more. You know, Mother Lavinia, you might be infectious. I think, for the safety of everyone, we should have you transferred to the isolation cell. There you will get the best attention, material and spiritual. This cell must be scrubbed clean immediately. We shall put my family coat of arms here. Isabella, I have a job for you. I want you to take a message to the Villa Bayano. Do you know where it is? Of course, Aunt Julia. Of course, Mother Superior. Good. Then you can go by yourself. When? Tomorrow. Till tomorrow. Till tomorrow. How was your journey, Your Excellency? Long and uncomfortable. Anything new occur here? Mm hmm. Another anonymous letter from the convent of Sant'Arcangelo. Who is the new Mother Superior? It's Mother Julia of the Duke of Mondragone's family. Hmm. His Eminence is here? Yes, Your Excellency. Bring in all the records of Sant'Arcangelo. At once. Scurrilous habits. To the point that convents contaminated by the plague of immorality are not abodes of virgins consecrated to God, but in their place of veritable brothels. These sad facts were attested to by Cardinal Giuseppe Cantarini in the 15th century. But we happen to be in the church of the 16th century, and other conditions prevail. Perhaps not for the better. In the convent of Sant'Arcangelo, for example. Do you suppose I would act on a letter from an unknown person? No. I merely suggest we verify the true facts. The new superior will see to that. She has character. Oh, of that, I'm sure. The proper character to have got where she is. Our religious orders are only veiled centers of privilege and despotism. They've ceased to obey the message Christ taught. Should we fail to maintain the church's temporal power? Should we be overthrown and her realm divided? Our Lord and his apostles have a greater power. They produced a profound enthusiasm. Because they were able for the first time to convince us that there are basic human rights by their example set every day. The church has been organized to safeguard those rights. Grant this to me, Carafa. If you destroy the church, you throw the example away. Heaven forbid. I did not mean our mother to return to her original poverty and lack defense, but avoid monstrous speculations affected in her name. The privileges accorded to honor a convent's mother superior lead to the lowest intrigues. Since you allude to the convent of Sant'Arcangelo's merciful privilege, you should know that property it has in the neighborhood was extended by the piety of Don Carlos Ribera. And in exchange, he accepts complete possession of riches in another land, across the ocean. 
Does that meet your scruples? A grandee of Spain's, yes. He is unfit. I will allow you the possibility to see everything at the convent of Santa Cangelo. All is in order there. I will make my inspection, provided they have no suspicion of my arrival. Then go now. Give this personally to Don Carlos Rivera. Isabella, the message is very important. Don't worry, Mother Superior. Isabella, be careful. Isabella. The relics of St. Damien. St. Damien evidently weighed a ton. In every convent I've seen there are pieces of it. For some people, these things are very important. Open your cell for inspection, Mother Julia. By whose authority? The authority of His Eminence in care of this diocese, in which I exercise the vicariate. A written one, Your Excellency? Yes, I'll show you that. offer devotion to God or to the objects of your vanity on earth? I cannot renounce my family. When you pronounced your holy vows, you chose the family of Christ. And what is that? Medicine. There's a door that's locked. It's the isolation cell for the very sick. Is it occupied? Yes. She's infectious. I am immune. I'm not afraid of being infected.
bestial practice. I know. But it's the rule, isn't it? You might have broken it. The disciplinary cells, Your Excellency. So I see. Mother Carmela. She tried to escape. I've sent a complete report to the Archbishop. I've read it. Put her back in her cell. And what is this? A souvenir? Or does it mean you're visited in secret? This hand is not unknown to me. Those are her personal confessions. I don't see how they can possibly I'm be... I'm quite amazed. sure of it. Get out! Get out! Get out! Absolutely no one must pass in or out. No exceptions. cares about that now? I do. All right. Oh, you dirty boys! Get out! Away with you! Do your own natural act somewhere else! Be off, I say! And keep away from my sheep! Them boys was doing shouldn't be seen by decent people, bussing each other on the mouth. A shame. There's evidence enough to proceed with a trial. We must consider they belong to prominent families. It's proven they're able to influence even the King of Spain. Eminence. Don't let them escape you. Have the trial proceed. Who summons it? You've more than sufficient power. It's a cloistered nunnery. What sort of trial would it be? Investigative eminence. An inquisition? Defending in time of peril our mother the church. It's quite certain His Holiness Gregory the Thirteenth will appreciate your zeal. I'll be exposed to their worst vengeance. I'm ready to assume the entire responsibility. True! <coughs> Stupid! Anonymous letters. We'll all suffer for this. I know what you've done to Mother Lavinia. That elixir's worsened her. You know nothing! Keep on. Yes, keep on. Oh, keep hurting me. It's about time you took an interest in me again.
I've made you suffer. And you didn't deserve it. Do you feel sorry for me? My love hasn't changed. Oh. oh, I'd like to be sure of that. Nothing has changed, except... Except? The matter of my appointment. You must never say that. You are with me now. Telling me you love me. Only because you need my silence. No. Do you think I don't know that? You're wrong. But I suppose I should be grateful for that much. In nomine Patris, e Figli, e Spiritus Santi. Amen. Amen. Invoking the name of the Lord, we, Alfonso Carafa, vicar of His Eminence, the Archbishop of Naples, by the grace of God, open this hearing in accordance with canon law as an act of faith in the Apostolic Church to question the nuns of Sant'Arcangelo at Baiano. Thank you so much. You can't imagine how pleased I am with this message from Mother Julia. I sent her my congratulations for her new appointment. Isabella. 
Entrusting the message to her pretty little niece was a splendid idea. I want to tell you that I... Pray do. Don't rush off. I've been wanting to have a long talk with you for some time now. I really suspected all along that it might have been you. Certain things can be hidden only up to a point. Horses. After her. But uh, don't take her at once. Come along.
I know every detail of what my Aunt Mother Julia has done to become Mother Superior and what you stand to gain in rights to the lands of the New World. Release her. Yes. And I'm also aware of what Mother Julia has been doing inside the convent walls. The gifts that you sent her. The medicine. Not to mention the reception your men gave to Mother Carmela's visitor. Hold your tongue. Now I advise you to let us go. Threatening me doesn't afford you any protection. You couldn't kill me if you were the king. I thought of that too. Because if you do, the scandal will be the end of you. Are you trying to bargain? Yes, haven't I as much right as you? <laughs> Why did you spy on the other nuns in the convent? I want to be freed from my vows. I'd hope to use the opportunity of my mission to you to discuss it at least. But you never gave me a chance to talk. In brief, you're not attracted to convent life. Well, my dear, I must say I can't really blame you. All right. I'm going to take you back to the convent. I'll advise you what to do and what to say in your own interest. In the interests of both of you. Well, I think in the interest of all three of us. Was it this? I think so. You have to reply precisely whether or not you record it. I am ill. It is hard to remember. And do you, Mother Julia, recognize this bottle? Yes. You admit you knew what the contents were? It's medicine. You have had it examined. Tell us the exact nature of the contents. It's a poison. Is it fatal? That depends on the dose. It's a medicine. Is it a fact they use this poison in medicine? Yes. Well. And how did you happen to possess this medicine? I brought it with me when I entered the convent. I've had it for years. I've always found it a very effective medicine. I've had the same sickness too. Ask Mother Lavinia. It's true. In this letter, you are said to have known the effect of excessive use of that medicine. That's an anonymous letter. The person who wrote this letter is here among us. You wrote it. Is it my handwriting? Compare them. They appear to be written in the same manner. By using perhaps the other hand, the anonymous letter writer and the author of the journal could well be one and the same. Can you swear they are? Swear? No. I found your diary of very pertinent interest and most astute. You read my confessions? The letters and the diary are the same. The same phrases. Your confessions mention medicaments Mother Julia had administered to Sister Lavinia. I only meant to bring out Mother Julia's gesture. What kind of gesture? Of her goodness. 
Here's another letter without a name. Please mark it. This one is different from the others. It is also the most important in its disclosure. An outsider was fully informed of the scandalous misconduct within the walls of this convent. He knew of secret visits by a man to one of the nuns. He even knew the spot in the shadow of the convent where someone murdered and buried Mother Carmela's lover, Pietro Lanciani. And who did it? Had one of your family learned of your infamous conduct? His rival, then. Have you favoured other men? You must answer. You will force us to use other methods. Apply it, then. Apply the strongest method. I meant it as a threat to your eminence. I order it. Mother Julia, did you and Mother Chiara have a sinful relationship? Ah! 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 Make her admit it. In obedience to God. Every sin, you'll save your soul. Before I go on with the Inquisition, she must leave. It wasn't easy. I was able, though, to do something for you. You'll only have to stand your trial as a penitent. But don't worry. As long as you do what I told you, everything will be all right. For the evidence I want, we'll have to go even further. Who's above them? My dear Carapa, there's no murderer that I can see. Mother Lavinia is surviving for the moment. A sentence to long imprisonment at hard labor is all that's required for the disobedient. For the nun Julia, as superior, a death sentence is prescribed, though. Mother Julia's position is an ecclesiastical mistake. I must judge her as if she had never been selected. But then the Don Carlos donation is annulled. That donation has to remain valid, regardless of all that has occurred. But consequently, the enormous privilege we have awarded to Don Carlos Ribera regarding his gold concessions, as well as other rights, will have to remain valid. Then as far as I'm able to comprehend, the problem reduces itself to this. If Mother Julia is superior, her sentence can only be the death penalty. And the church has saved a huge donation. And Don Carlos is privilege.
But if we annul her appointment, we assume that Mother Julia has been acting in a simple nun's capacity, and her sentence is incarceration, probably for life. At least she will live. Then the church must renounce this conspicuous donation. And Don Carlos, his privilege. This lamentable trial is what you wished. Don't forget, Carafa. Now you must finally consult the Inquisitorial Council to sum up the issue. And decide the verdict. Nomine Patris e Filii e Spiritus Santi. Amen. Amen. By the grace of God and His Holiness the Pope, we, Archbishop of the Glorious Diocese of the Kingdom of Naples, at the conclusion of this most sacred inquisition convened to question the nuns of Sant'Arcangelo at Baiano, in the name of our Lord, the Holy See, and the Holy Roman Catholic and Apostolic Church, decree thus. The nun Carmela of the noble title of the Princes of Costante is sentenced to imprisonment for life. The nun Chiara, ex Baroness of Arcamone, is sentenced to ten years in prison where she will be held in solitary confinement. The novice Isabella Countess of Montragone is to revoke her vow. All her patrimonial goods donated to the convent of Sant'Arcangelo as her dowry are to revert to the Diocese of Naples. Trusting in God and in all conscience, we hold the nun Julia, ex Duchess of Montragone, culpable of criminal conduct, corruption, and cruelty. We decree, however, that her appointment as superior remain valid. Therefore, in applying the only sentence that we may from the Church's canon law, a sentence stipulated in the regulation as a capital penalty, we decree that it be carried out immediately, and if she so wishes, by taking poison, to spare her the secular arm. The other nuns are to be transferred to other convents, where they will dispel through prayers and isolation the doubts which have assailed their faith. You are judging me for corruption and cruelty. Am I more cruel and corrupt than you? A sinful relationship. Yes, I seized the only chance of affection I had. Or am I accused of wanting power? What do you want? I was forced into this place, and here, the only security is power. You are speaking blasphemy. I will not suffer it. No! I'm speaking the truth, as I can now, for the first time in my life. The law of the church is inhuman, and it made me inhuman too, like you! But I know I have a soul. And at last, I'm free. I'm 
I'm ready. I absolve you of your sins. In nomine Patris, et Filii, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. <laughs>